Welcome back to Fatal Frame Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Last time we found ourselves back with Misahi and finally ventured up to the fourth floor to see if we could learn more about Sakuya. Then we kind of skipped around a little bit without really knowing how we got to a couple of places and found ourselves deep underground at a mysterious shrine where Misaki collapsed. So let's load in and see where we find ourselves today. mysterious silhouette did look a lot like Choshiro. But we find ourselves back with Ruka. Before we do just want to bait these fellows into attacking us. Pretty easy fight to start off with. But now we do want to start retracing our steps a little to follow where Misaki went last chapter.
So yes, the girls were taken down here, as we saw last chapter. But we also came down this little hallway as Chosuro earlier, and he determined... He was too big to get through here, but Ruka is, well, a little smaller and perhaps a little braver. Because she is able to get through that section. We have some nice art on the walls here. And we see what occurred on the day that Saki awoke. began to walk the island. I thought I remembered something being here, but apparently not. So we'll just continue on. Lovely sacred water. I will just check Ruka's camera. Yes, I didn't think I had any upgrade materials really, but we will... We will manage. <laughs> and it seems we have found... The last resting place of this poor woman. like she left something for us, but I guess she didn't. I guess we just got a weird zoom in. Anyway, that was a dead end, so... Well, there's another dead end up here. Maybe we'll be attacked by someone up here, too. Yeah, it looks like all of those groups of islanders that we saw before. The guardians of this underground area. They met their ends down here. We are done with this side, so let's head along the other branch of the path we had up here. Another dead end and lovely Type 90 film. We'll just take a little jaunt around. I was I'm still a little bit convinced that there was something there, but I suppose not. The 
this underground is a bit of a labyrinth. A little lookout here in this cave with these swirling drawings. I think I hear the chimes for the doll. Aha! Oh, not quite. Yes, even down here, we are not safe. Forever we will be pursued by those mischievous little things. But we can continue on. feel like I've been turned around a little bit. I have indeed. This is where I came along before. Yes, it's very easy to get turned around down here, especially if you're me and really not great with all of these cave walls. to be a way down there, doesn't there? Ah, of course. I'd forgotten there was another way down here. Okay. Yeah, those guys really did kind of just... a pretty bad time down here. Lovely. We will be wanting some more upgrades. And we do want to run as fast as we can because we cannot fight Sakuya right now. Come on, Ruka, leg it! Well, all we have to do is run a little bit and she gets bored. Which is lucky for us because I do believe one hit will still kill us. So let's just continue our exploration. item here. Somewhere. Not sure how. It decided that that was the angle I needed to pick it up, but you know, I've got it, so let's not complain.
run away from me. You get back here. Come out of the wall and fight me, you coward. Always do kind of get in the way of your combos. It's a pain. Really now, that's just for dealt with that. As you can see, there are Lots of little passages here. And these... This group of ghosts will continue to just be a pain to us down here. not too terrible because they are not particularly threatening it is just annoying when the walls get in the way of your combo and it would probably and we do want to run away again just throwing items at us at this point. Gee, I wonder if we're getting closer to the end of the game. We're still a few chapters off yet, but uh... Yeah, they are just giving us upgrade items. Because why not? I'm not going to explore every little branching path down here, but I will, as you can see, do quite a bit of it. So it's like quite an expansive area. And it seems we have come to a door. And a house, or a building of some sort. With 
a very long staircase. Something is happening around here. are the organs for the regular Kagura, not the Rite of Descent. This does sound familiar to Ruka, so I think we should investigate. have found the stage where the Kagura was held. We can't get down that way, so it looks like we will have to walk around a little bit. And, as we had already seen it recorded, there was indeed a video camera here, but that's not what we want to look at right now, we want to look at the stage. dangerous fight because as you can see we are being attacked by a number of enemies
up and they will bait switch and fake us out. sacred waters here and I think I'm a little bit done messing around with them when we have a moderately good stash of film clearly seeing I am very not good at fights where there are multiple enemies. I think I may just get out of the arena entirely. that fatal frame shot. Yep, the dancer nurse will dive at us, which is Quite annoying. Hopefully she will grab me while I'm trying to walk past her. I really love you girls to stop warping in front of me while I'm trying to Get around to a good position. getting messed up by these little girls. Use all my healing items. Very narrowly be avoid being messed up by the dancer again. Messing me up here is my camera reload time.
But I do manage to survive that very dangerous encounter. That's about all we have for this area here. We'll switch back to my regular film. Yeah, Ruka's camera is just a little bit lacking. I have not been particularly lucky with my blue stones. We do want to continue on. I am rewarded for my terrible performance in that last battle with a Type-0 film, the best film in the game. We will be getting very, very little of that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I think that is actually enough to upgrade, yes. Ruka's max power. So I will be doing a little bit more damage now. dragged down this way, so I think we should probably head back underground. Generally, following the ghosts of the past is how we figure things out around here. This strange room... Now it does want us to take a photo of something in here. something important on the altar there, but I think... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, I see you over there. Even the most sacred rooms of this island are not safe. But I do very much like this room and its reflective floors and the big mask in the ceiling. But it seems like there will be some way to move that altar. Although we are not quite sure of how to do so yet. So let's head back on up. We do have another hallway to head down here. And we do find ourselves presented with Ruka's father. Now that definitely seems like a lead we want to pursue. Mm -hmm given that our whole reason for coming here was to learn a bit more about him. There does seem to be an item. Or I'll just be attacked. Very nasty surprise. Hoping that extra shot would be enough to kill him, but apparently not. very rude of her. I was hoping for an item. Well, we can now continue on and there is a door here. And I do hear the chime of a doll. Oh ho ho. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I think that this... There wasn't actually anything wrong with the ritual. I think it was just the dolls. No good can come from having that many of these things around. Another sneaky doll. <laughs> there is a door here. And we find ourselves. <laughs> some bad memories for Ruka.
No, in game, I want the item. And are they very nice? Type zero film? We learn a little bit more about the mask making process. But this door is locked. Looks like we're not getting in there anytime soon. And Rika still just can't seem to remember her father's face. Doesn't seem all that surprising considering all the face warping we've been seeing going on in this island. Yeah, Dad is still appearing to guide the way. Another lovely cache of blue stones. Seems that we have found ourselves at Ruka's home. Hopefully, you'll join me again next time.